Hi, my name is Jens and today I'm going to completely overturn your image of a ladybug. Before this glowing egg can become a ladybug, everything starts as a crusty alien creature. Can you imagine how those creatures will become ladybugs? Those are not ladybugs babies, those are predators. The only thing those newborn larvas are interested in is hunting and eating. And their favorite meal are aphids. The upcoming footage might be a little bit disturbing for you, but hey, that's your beautiful ladybug. This predator probably already had its meal. When the ladybug lava found its prey, it just starts to catch and eat. It does not kill, it just eats. When I saw this the first time, it was pretty tough to watch. But anyway, at least there are no remains. Do you think it's a good idea to be curious here? You better leave that ladybug lava alone. After eating as many aphids as possible for two or three weeks, the ladybug lava looks for a place for a last shed and then transforms into a pupa. Pretty beautiful, right? It is always a good idea to settle down at a place where a lot of aphids are. Otherwise, other ladybug lovers might become interested in eating you and your pupa. While the brothers and sisters of our first ladybug lava are still eating, our first ladybug is about to enter this world again. And finally, after weeks of waiting and hoping to capture the right moment I was there when the ladybug was hatching, I could switch from time-lapse mode to 4K video to capture this very special moment. What do you think? What is the first thing our newborn ladybug will do? Hopefully not eat his brothers and sisters. Maybe some aphids? Somehow he seems as if he is not very interested in eating at the moment. This is because he is still very soft. So he's looking for a place to settle down and wait 
until the dots appear and the shell gets harder. After a while, the other ladybugs start to hatch, but not all of them look as healthy as our first ladybug. That's pretty normal. Look, our first ladybug starts to develop black dots. It can take many hours till the shell of the ladybug is hardened and the ladybug is able to explore the world again. It looks for aphids and then you can probably guess what's coming now. If you like this story about the ladybug, maybe you're also interested about my macrofilm about the Venus flytrap and the sundew. I hope that I did not completely destroy your image of the cute, pretty ladybug because basically it's actually just a predator which kills and eats all the time. If you want to know how I filmed this footage, I took this Nisi macro adapter together with my 90mm 1 to 1 macro lens, but I don't want to go too much into detail. So if you want to know more about how to film macro footage like this, please leave a comment below and I'm gonna make a behind the scenes video for you. So thanks for watching, I really hope that you enjoyed this kind of footage and this content. Have a good day and hopefully see you in the next video.